Earlier, I spoke to their General Secretary, Sally Hunt, and to Rupert Sutton, Director of the organisation Student Rights, which works to tackle extremism on campuses. And I began by asking Rupert what he thought the main responsibilities were of universities to tackle radicalism on campus. Well, I think firstly they have to be aware of, of what the problem is uh, and then they have to be willing to say when they do uh, identify it to either challenge student societies to say you have to make this uh, a debate, you have to make a, an environment conducive to challenge uh, and if it's an individual they have to um, be aware of the pathways that already exist away from criminal justice, away from the police to enable those students to, to gain uh, support from either religious guidance or uh, from perhaps social services. And they should go to the police if they're worried? I think in, if they believe that the law has been broken they should go to the police but ultimately uh, the pathways pathways are in place to make this a non-police-led process. Sally Hunt, what's your worry about that? The worry we have is that what the Prevent Agenda is doing is changing uh, the way that universities and colleges already work, in fact, to protect all their students and provide a safe environment and to identify those students who they think are particularly vulnerable. And they change it from that, which is very much a pastoral role, to one where there is going to be a legal duty both on the institution and the individual member of staff to identify individual students who they think that might be at risk. Now that is going to put a very, very big pressure on the relationship between teacher and student and frankly we think is going to bring into question academic freedom in this country. Rupert Sutton, I mean, how can students have any trust in their tutors if they think they're trying to study them to work out if they're terrorists? Well, I think the most important thing is that um, lecturers are, are given guidance by government uh, to help them with this and, and to say that um, this isn't about cracking down on what students are saying. It's not about making certain attitudes or opinions uh, on, you know, illegal on campus. So what do you think university lecturers should do if they think a student is bordering on criminal behaviour? Not there yet, but, but near. What I would say to that, Krishnan, is that there are already quite, I think, robust systems in place in universities and colleges where if individual tutors have concerns about their students, they refer that through to the college or university system. What they do not do, as a matter of course, is say it's their role and their duty to report people to the police. Why there not? are instances that there are instances as citizens where that happens. We don't know how these guidelines are going to be enacted. We don't know who the governing body is going to be. We don't know what kind of training and support our members of staff are are going to be given what we do know is that the headline is they are being asked to report on their students and yes that is worrying them. Rupert Sutton don't you think this could have a chilling effect on intellectual freedom well I think it's important to note that the first thing that um, you know UC is saying we don't know what's going to happen we don't know who the governing body is going to be and yet they've still come out and condemned this um, you know, proposal and I think what's important to do is wait to see what guidance comes from the government on this now there has to be a wide consultation from uh, various different partners within society from universities from UCU from the practitioners on the ground who have to deal with uh, taking students or other individuals who've um, shown extremist views and try to turn them away from that that's where we all, can get with, these with views all with all due respect, the guidance that you're talking about would have to cover a wide spe spectrum of academic study. So what you're describing is foreign policy, international relations, philosophy, for example, English, history, sciences. Now, you are not going to get guidance that is going to cover every eventuality. So the reality of this is that individual tutors under the Prevent Agenda, and the reason that we are critical is because it was published in February, is the guidelines we haven't had. But we know there is an individual in duty envisaged on tutors to identify and report students. That is a very big shift and it's one that I think puts pressure on students in a way that simply isn't reasonable.